皆さんこんにちは。And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's me, Shogo, and I have TK with me today. Yay!、Yeah. Uh, Hi. And so today we're going to be taking you to a very famous temple right here, Onnoji, which is famous for the place where Oda Nobunaga, the devil, was assassinated. In this channel, we'll be introducing hidden gems in Kyoto. So if you're a Kyoto lover or planning to come to Kyoto someday, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So, then, we'll be able to get h o n n o j i Temple is located in Kyoto City and is the main temple of the Homo School of the Hokke Sect of Buddhism. Since its foundation in 1415, the temple has been rebuilt six times due to fires and various disasters. And the current temple is the seventh Honnoji built in 1928. Since the temple has been rebuilt no matter how many times it was hit by disasters, it has been worshipped by the people as a symbol of reconstruction and recovery. The reason why the temple had to be built for the fifth time in 1592 was the famous Honnoji Incident. The Honnoji Incident was an incident in which Oda Nobunaga. Arguably the most popular and famous military commander in Japanese history, was betrayed by a subordinate, Akechi Mitsuhide, and burned to death at Honnoji, where he was staying, just before he could achieve his dream of unifying the whole country. At this temple, you can see a mausoleum of Oda Nobunaga that is said to have been built by his son, Oda Nobutaka. Really big gate. And it's funny how it's connected to a really shopping street. Here we are, inside the temple. Once you come inside, you immediately find this right here on the left side. This is actually a museum where they have a lot of national treasures in it. But it seems, maybe just for now, that they're only open on Saturdays and Sundays as in front there. But actually,、uh, we're not able to take photos and pictures inside the museum, anyways. So when you come, I hope you can take a look. If there's any pictures that we can share with you, we'll have them on the video.、But. In this museum, there are many treasures on display that have survived various disasters and have been protected by our ancestors. Among them are religious relics, folding screens, tea utensils, letters, and many other important cultural assets. Please note, however, that the contents of the exhibition vary depending on the season. They have a small map here. It has all of the English on it here. So there's the temple museum there,、uh, temple office. Goshui is the stamps that you can collect at the shrines and temples. So they have that. They actually have a hotel as well within precincts of this temple, actually. And the main hall is right in front of us. And behind the main hall, there is actually the Oda Nobunaga's grave the monument. So we'll take a look. We'll go to the main hall, we'll let you see, and then go to the grave of Oda Nobunaga. Okay? Let's go. It's a Wednesday, but there's actually quite a lot of people here. Well, if you like Japanese history, Japanese samurai culture, this Honnoji is definitely one of the places that you really want to come. And right here is the main hall. What's unfortunate is that if you can see that big rope there hanging from the ceiling there is to ring the bell on top, the gong. But due to the COVID 19 problem, because if everyone, a lot of people would hold the rope, it might lead to infection, you know. So you can't do it right now. Using this slope here, actually, you can go up and go inside. But again, same as the museum, you aren't able to take photos and videos inside. So this is the far you can do. Oh, and by the way, you have to、um, take off your shoes before you go inside, so please keep that in mind for us, okay? So we're at the front of the main hall. You have to、um, take off your shoes here, put them in the shoe shelves, I guess, here, and you come in from here. So TK and I will go inside and take a look, and we'll tell you what it was like inside. So TK and I just went into the main hall and came out. It was like, I think it wasn't my first time coming here. I think it was my second or third, but it's been a while for sure, definitely. I think the last time I came was a child, I believe it still was. But it was amazing. You know, you, you see the outside of the main hall here, right? But once you open the door and step one step inside, it's a completely different world. And what, if you come here, you will totally understand what I mean. The cool air, quiet atmosphere, 
and also the beautiful interior, everything. It's really, really beautiful. Yes. You completely forget that this temple, this whole place, is right in the middle of a city. So it was really amazing. What did you think? I was here for the first time, but I think it was a great place. Yeah, exactly. It was a great place. 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 It's something that you can't imagine from the outside, right?、Mm. Yeah, it's completely different. It's definitely worth going inside. On TK, I, we actually found these inside. There w a s actually some brochures laid on some tables that you can take for free. And especially this one over here is the brochure of the Hono Temple. And it has all the information inside it what's inside the museum, see here. And it's very famous, but the Hono Temple has actually been torn down, burnt down, and destroyed like more than seven times. This is the seventh Hono Temple that exists. And explains each time why it was destroyed. And also the inside, there is a map here and it teaches you what each place is about. So I was just talking with TK. I, I think we could recommend you maybe just straight coming to the main hall, take a look at the main hall, take one of these brochures, and then go around to all the other places. Might be nice, yes. It is definitely better that you come here and pray to the main hall first before you go to the other places, anyway. So we definitely recommend this. And also, this one. So, this book here, The Guide to Buddhism in Japan, was really easy to understand too.、Um, they tell you about the history of Buddhism, how you pray and such, how you、um, put coins into the offering box and such. So, this, these two brochures are highly recommended. There's tons of them inside. So, you can get these and then go around to the other places in the whole country. Yes. So, this is the same building as the museum. But on this side is the place where you get the stamps, the Goshuin Shou, right here on this side. All right, then let's move on to the right side of the museum. This is where we are. On this side, there are the seven sub temples that's written on the here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's right. That's... Wow, seven small temples in one big temple. That's a lot of temples in <laughs> there. And each of course has a room with people living inside of it. And there's actually a grave in that room. So we're walking along these seven sub temples. And on the seventh sub temple here, they actually have another Hoshinisha where you can get more stamps. Now,、uh, there's a lot of Japanese people who are fans of temples and shrines and collect these stamps going to all many different types of shrines and temples. And after you walk along all these seven sub temples, right here is the Oda Nobunaga's monument, grave monument here. So let's go inside and take a look then. All right. There it is. TK and I both are just doing the prayers, but over here, you know, this kind of tells you where to go and stuff to see. Okay.、Oh, this is good. We'll take this with us too. So, this big monument here is the monument for Oda Nobunaga in Saigon. And this over here, it says all the names of the people who have died during the Onimoshina at home. When Oda Nobunaga was assassinated, the other people who died along with them, their names are here, and this is their one. There are so many monuments here in one section. This is interesting. We have a Onimoshina official flag for the nation. Well, this is nice. This is nice. I don't even have to read all the brochures, maybe. So, there's two more things I want to introduce to you. This one here is another monument. It says 315 years from Oda Nobunaga. This is also a very popular monument. This is right next to the grave. And this tree here has a little bit of shimina around it. It's probably considered as a sacred tree in this temple. Yeah, there's some English written on it. Big Yuko tree, Icho in Japanese. So、there are some legends that you can read here and see. And by the way, we came in from the front gate, but if you keep on going through 
after seeing the Oyama Lagoon, uh, its grave and monuments and the big beautiful tree, if you go out from this side, there's actually a back gate here, so you can go out to the to the streets again from this side as well. So you can literally walk through the temple. So we are just came back to the front of the temple. Um, it's been a long time since I came to the home Honnoku here. Coming here again after doing all the, you know, the research and studying about the history you know, I make for, I do for the videos, it was really amazing for me to see that this was the actual temple that was related to the famous Old Road Naga. And also I think it was really kind that they had all the English and also you know, the brochures and the applications. You know, there are some temples and shrines that don't have any preparations for English or for, for foreign languages. So I think this place would be one of my um, most recommended temples that you can go to to study about the history for sure. How's it for you, Dad? Honoji is a little bit of a name, but if you look at it, it's a lot of the streets in the middle of the city, and it's a lot of the streets in the middle of the city, and it's a lot of the streets in the middle of the city, and it's a lot of the streets in the middle of the city. That's right, there's tons of shops that are selling clothes and food, and then suddenly you have this really traditional temple coming out of nowhere. We introduced to you that Oda Nobunaga was assassinated here, right? But actually, this was the, the temple that was rebuilt after Honnoji was once burnt down. So right now, before we end, we wanted to take you to the monument. It was actually a monument where the real place where Oda Nobunaga was assassinated. There's still a monument there. So we'll like, walk there and let you take a look at that before we end today's video. So let's walk over there. So we walked for about 20 minutes, I guess, from the temple, yeah. Really hot day with the mask on, but we finally got it. This is the single monument that's left of where the Honnoji was, where Oro Naga was assassinated, I guess. So it's a completely perfect uh, building now behind it. So this is the only monument that's left of it. Yeah. There's a description written in Japanese here about the history of Honnoji and where Oro Naga was killed. Definitely worth coming though. 20 minute walk doesn't hurt, so if you would like to, to actually see where Obobunaga was assaulted, you can come here to check out this monument too. It's a very beautiful statue here. So then everyone, if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like and also the subscribe. And also if you're interested in coming into the Honnoji Temple, we have the link in the description box. You can take a look for more information. I'll see you in our next Kyoto Hidden Gems. Still, arigatou gozaimashita. See you soon guys.